Hey friends, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I am so excited about today and I'm so excited that you're here. If you're new here, I would love for you to take just a moment, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notifications and select the word all and be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Um, so the algorithm keeps you notified, <laughs> the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, we are starting a new series today called Summertime Sunday Lunch Sides or sun, Summertime Sunday Sides, Triple S. And we are going to do several videos throughout the next, I don't know if I'm going to do them straight in a row or dot them out, but we're going to focus on sides, side dishes instead of the entrees. So many times I get so focused on the entree that I forget people may want to learn how to make a certain side. So today we're kicking it off with deviled eggs and cucumber salad. So don't go anywhere. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open So yes, we are kicking this off with deviled eggs and cucumber salad. Staple side dishes, especially at, on my Easter table. This is what we're Sunday lunch is going to be is Easter um, for this coming week. So I thought, well, let's go ahead and kick this off with the deviled eggs and cucumber salad. Now, let me tell you, you're going to see something you probably have never seen in my kitchen before. It is something I am not comfortable with, but it is something I'm going to get comfortable with. You're seeing the Instant Pot. Yep, so that's what we're gonna use to uh, boil our eggs. I'm not gonna boil them on the stove. I'm gonna do them right here in the Instant Pot. And we're gonna hope it works, right? Okay. So let me tell you what we're going to do. Let me get, get you tilted down in here. I'm going to go in with about a cup of water. I have the rack down in there. And y'all may laugh when you see, you know, the, how long it takes me to find the right buttons and stuff. But I'm going to go in with, um, I'm going to go in with 12 eggs. I'll make a few extra. All right, so I've already lost count. <laughs> the six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Grab these three out of this one. And let's make sure that's 12. And they can stack on top of each other. That's fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's get the lid. This is what takes me a little while. her up. Y'all don't laugh. <laughs> I can't get it plugged in. Okay, there we go. There we go. And I've turned it to close. Let me get you down here where you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to be sure that the knob here is set to ceiling. Okay, guys, we're just going to hit manual. And it's already on the five. Minute mark. I 
think that's five minutes. Let's Okay. All right, so while we're waiting on the eggs, let's get started on the cucumber salad. Let me tell you, you're gonna need cucumbers. You're gonna need a purple onion. You're gonna need water, vinegar, and some sugar. So let's see if I've got my measuring cup out here. Here we go. All right, so, oh, and a whisk which I don't have out. But I'm gonna go ahead and put, I'm gonna start with a third of a cup of sugar. I'm gonna put that down in the bottom. We may have to switch bowls. I've got one of these, um, you know, little Pioneer Woman set bowls. We'll, we'll try that first, but we may have to switch bowls. Two cups of water going in. And I do equal parts water to vinegar, so we're gonna put in two cups of apple cider vinegar. All right, so let me grab a whisk. And before, no, I don't have a whisk, so let me just grab this. Um, it's not a whisk, I know. Before we go any further, before I start putting the cucumber, I got cucumber in my finger. Before I start slicing up the cucumber and so forth, I do want to give this a taste to see if I think it needs a little bit more vinegar. Does it need a little more sugar? Is it, you know, to see what it needs. So let me grab a spoon. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to give it a quick taste. Um... I think it might need just a little bit more sugar. I'm gonna put just a little bit more, just a, not much. It was pretty close to perfect. All right, some people use salt and pepper in this. I don't. I just use cucumbers. So this is what, I don't know, it, it just, Bring spring and summer into our meals, doesn't it, Dad? It does. So I'm going to peel these cucumbers really I don't use a vegetable peeler. I know everybody does, but I don't. I use a knife. And I just... Now, when we get our... When our garden is planted and when the cucumbers start coming in, we'll definitely be using our garden. Oh, he's going to use the vegetable peeler. We're gonna definitely be using our, our garden cucumbers, but the last two years, I haven't had a garden. So guess what I've had to use? Store-bought cucumbers. And that's totally fine. They're just as good. Well, I mean, maybe not quite just as good, but they're pretty close. Especially these English cucumbers, I like them. Y'all tell me, ever since I had COVID, what, a year and a half ago? Mm -hmm. Um, cucumbers have not tasted, that's one of the things that have not tasted right to me, is cucumbers. What, what does not taste right to you? Like, it took a long time for onions. Be for me. Better. But it's, it tastes right to you now, doesn't it? Right. It's getting, it's getting it's back better. to normal. Because he's starting to eat it more. Um, but that was something he loved, peanut butter. And then all of a sudden... It was like, ugh. And that's the way onions were. And and cucumbers, I like, I mean, I can eat them, but they don't taste like they used to. It's not, it's a different taste. It's not that it's a bad taste, but it's just a different taste. He's coming to show me up on his knife skills. Here, watch his knife skills. Oh, he's losing cucumbers. Not too many. He's lost two. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. You wanna um you wanna um slice mine up and I'll just put your cucumbers in the vinegar? No, I'll do mine. I'll put mine in the vinegar. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Oh, you can slice the onion. Huh? You can slice the onion. No, I'll cry. Losing all my cucumbers. Hey, look here. 
Watch this. I like the peelings. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to... Here, seriously, will you do the onion? I blow no English. <laughs> I'm going to do the onion. He's not going to do the onion. All right, let's do a trick. What's the trick? Everybody says this works. Let's the, try. the wet paper towel? Yeah. I've heard that, too. All right, here we go. Wet paper towel. It didn't work the other day, but I did it after my eyes were already burning, right. so. Slide you guys back. Put Hang right on, I'll get all the cucumbers out of your way in just a second. Oh, I just stabbed me. I just stabbed him. Are we doing a purple onion? No, I always do a, always do a purple onion in your cucumber salad because it's pretty. It's pretty. The only thing is I can't really tell when the peeling starts and stops. You know what I mean? Oh. And really, they're called red onions, but whoever named them did not look at the color. Those are some purple onions. Yeah. But anyway, I know they're red onions, but we just call them purple because they are purple. They look purple to me. Yeah, they're purple. All right, I'm coming, fellas and gentlemen and ladies. And just cut it half and do it in like semicircles. Listen, did you ask me to do this? I did. Okay. <laughs> And you're going to tell me how to do it? Yes, I am. Well, that's what I figured. You know what that's called, everybody? Being a wife. Being married. <laughs> like, you want this way? Yeah, and then, yeah, that way. Oh, hang on, they're not watching. Oh, they can't see. Watch, y'all. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's how you want them right there. Yep, right there's how I want them. Just like that? Is that too thin? Too no, thin? That's I know it's perfect. Should it's I cut, perfect. Should I cut that heart out? I'll take it out. You take the heart out. <laughs> I've got cucumbers all over my floor. <laughs> not that bad. Really, it's not that bad. All right, and I'll just pop that little yellow part out. Yep, right here. About like so. And then we'll just... Look there. Now, a lot of people put Italian dressing. I just do the vinegar, water, sugar... And you can also, like I said, people do salt and pepper. I don't usually do salt and pepper. I can report to y'all. Are you listening? The paper towel doesn't work. Are your eyes burning? Yeah, my eyes burning. See the paper towel right <laughs> It's wet. It's not working. It's not working. Yeah, my eyes are starting to burn too, actually. Yep. yep, yep. It, it may work in some instances. You don't need that whole onion. No, I don't want the whole onion. Just a half? Just a half. But I want to take them apart. You're putting them in. Take a fork and divide them up. Y'all will be eating this. That's and my hands are clean. You sure? Yes. You took a bath. It's, yes. Saturday. it's Saturday. It's yeah, Saturday bath day. Oh, he's just trying to sound impressive over here. All right. So there we go. It'll go in the refrigerator. Easy side dish right there. And it just springs, I mean, it, it screams springtime and summertime. And it is so good. And we cannot have a summertime Sunday lunch without cucumbers and onion salad. Bryant doesn't eat the onions, but he likes the flavor it gives. Do you eat the onions out no, of here? Absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. He's... I say he's not an onion fan. He didn't used to be an onion fan. I'm but still not an onion fan. No, now listen, you started ordering them on your hot dog. Well, that's because there's enough chili and slaw to kill the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, don't let him fool you. He likes onions. I don't like onions. He I don't like onions. Like I don't like onions. He sure don't <clears throat> mind eating them. So. On my hot dogs only. <laughs> You eat them on my burgers? And that's only at the BP station. <laughs> that's not here. I don't eat them. Only at the BP station. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, anyway, this is like an ongoing family the, the, the dispute. dispute, dispute. <laughs> so, anyway. All right. The eggs are slowly starting to tick down from their five-minute mark. Um, and we will wait for them, and I'll bring you back when they're ready. I'm going to get the ice bath ready. Okay, y'all, the beeper went off. So, we're gonna, you're gonna get to watch me hit the vent button. 
All right, and when it completely vents, we'll open it up. <clears throat> I have my ice bath ready. Let me move my cucumbers. I need to stick those in the refrigerator. Y'all are witnessing a miracle me using this Instapot. These are my new set of wooden utensils that I love from Geek Home. Um, I'm not sure what video I showed them on. Okay, the sizzling has almost stopped. Okay guys, the steam has stopped. So we're gonna... And you want to take the lid, like lift it away from you so that steam does not get you. And that's on any kind of pot. That's not necessarily just the Instapot. All right, so I'm going to reach in here and get these eggs. Oh, I had one explode in here. And we're just going to put them down into the ice bath. Good thing I did. Let's see if I got some tongs that might work better. <clears throat> I don't know that I do. I don't know where my tongs are. Okay, we're just gonna. It's okay if they crack a little bit because we're gonna crack them anyway. Whoa. Alright, guys, I'm gonna finish getting these out. Here's my one that exploded. Do y'all see that? It actually exploded. I mean, it's still, it's still hard boiled. So, okay. All right, I'm going to finish getting these out, and once they're cool, we'll bring you back, and I'll make deviled eggs. Okay, y'all. I had to go change clothes. Long story. But, anyway, my beautiful eggs, I've got them on a paper plate, so I hope they don't go falling. Look how nice and beautiful they peeled. Couldn't ask for better. So, I'm just going to show you how I cut them in half and take the um, yolk out. And then we'll come back and I'll show you how we make the mixture. And I don't have a fancy way of filling the whites, but I'll just show you how I do it. This is just a Sunday side, so you can make it as special or as unspecial as you want it. Okay, so I have this little container here that has a lid. I can store it in the refrigerator and it won't get stinky. You can make your deviled eggs the day before. Makes a huge time saver. But be sure to get you a sealable container so your refrigerator don't smell like deviled eggs. Okay, so I'm just going to take a knife and slice it right down the center. Be careful not to cut your hands. Um, and then I'm just going to take a spoon, knock out the yellow, place my white, knock out the yellow, place my white. Let me do another one. I'm just going to slice right down the center. Sometimes I can do it without even using a spoon because it just falls right out. Okay. These eggs, let me just say that the Instapot did these eggs perfectly. They peeled perfectly. The only one I had a problem with was this one, and that's because I stuck my thumb in it. It had nothing to do, I mean, it was me. And then this is the one, this is the one that cracked in the Instapot. So you see it kind of, I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of herniated through the, the crack there. But, okay, I'm going to um, continue. And if I have a buildup of yellow, like right there, I'm just going to kind of scrape it in there, in the bowl. Sometimes, see right there? I should, probably should have used a spoon, but I was trying to be lazy. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to finish up. I'll bring you back when it's time to make the mixture. Okay, guys, so the first thing I want to do is take a fork, and I'm just going to take my fork and mash up the yolks. Now, you notice there's not any green on these. Now, I never have green on my eggs. Um, and the way I normally do it, if you don't have an Instapot, let me tell you how I normally do my eggs. I bring water with a little bit of salt down in the water to a boil. Supposedly, the salt helps it um, 
feel easier. Uh, I bring it to a boil. I put the eggs down in it one at a time real easily. I set the timer for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I cut it off. I pour the water out. I take a knife or a spoon and I hit the eggs, give them a little bit of a crack, pour cold water on it, let it cool, and then peel. And I never have problems with my eggs that way either. But I must say, the Instapot did it pretty perfectly. Okay, so now what we're going to add is we're going to add in a little bit of mayonnaise. And you know we are a Duke's family. Now, I know you guys are going to want whoops, measurements. But, um, oh my goodness, there went eggs everywhere. Um, it's just so hard to give measurements. Um, because, like, these are really dry yolks. These yolks look really dry. Um, so, I'm saying I'm probably going in. This was 12 eggs. I'm pro So far, I've probably gone in with maybe a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise. And it's always best to go in small increments, a little at a time. Let's see if I can get any more out of here. I have another jar that Brian has actually found. Like, he is a Duke's snob. Like, no other mayonnaise but Duke's. But he's actually found one that he likes. And you're not going to believe it. It's not even a name brand. It's, an, it's a store brand. And um, he actually likes it. So we may add a little bit of this in here. Because it looks like I'm going to need some more. And it's actually the great value. Um, mayonnaise. He says it wasn't exactly like Duke's. But it was pretty close. All right, now I'd say we're at a third of a cup, and I'm just guessing, so just go in a little at a time. I may have gone in with too much at that point. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. And I'm just taking my fork and mixing it in, folding it in. I'm going to take a little bit of salt and pepper, not much salt. But I like a lot of pepper, but you do to your own tasting. Now, let's talk a minute. Let's talk a minute. You can make deviled eggs as fancy. You can add chopped up bacon. You could put dill, dill weed in it. Um, you could, some people put pickles, sweet pickles. Some people put dill pickles. Some people put no pickles. I'm showing you how I like it, how pretty much I was raised on it, and how I still to this day like it. Um, there is no one more southern deviled egg than the other, or whatever. Um, I, I'm, I'm very much used to people not putting pickles in it. However, I prefer pickles in my deviled eggs. So, okay, I put a little salt and pepper. But there, you can doctor up deviled eggs. Like, you can make them fancy, fancy. Or you can just make them regular, which is, I'm making them just good old farm style. Um, maybe two teaspoons of mustard. I'm going to have to get a, something to put that on. It's sliding on me. There we go. All right, let me give this a little bit of a taste. Mm. That's so good. I say that's pretty perfect with the exception of the missing pickles. And I use sweet pickles or sweet relish and put a little bit of that juice in there. That's good. All right, and I'd say about two tablespoons so far of the pickles. Uh, Y'all, I can just go ahead and tell you, this is going to be delish. Woo! 
That is perfect. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that makes me want to cry. It's so good. <laughs> That's pretty dramatic, don't you think? Okay. So, let me show you how we're going to do this. Keep turning you up and down, up and down. All right, I have a mug here. And in that mug, I'm going to place this just sandwich bag. And I may have to do this a couple of times because I'm out of big bags. If I had a big bag, a big bag would work. Push it down. You might want to lick that fork. Mm. That is so good. I mean, these are perfect. All right. I'm just going to dollop this egg mixture. Get back in there. In here. Like I said, we may have to do this more than once. I'm not going to fill it too terribly full. Let me find my scissors. Here they are. I'm going to take this. Well, I'm going to take this corner. And you want a fairly decent size cut off the corner. I don't, did y'all see that? I snipped off the corner of this bag. Um, let me bring our, I've got a mess. It was a good mess. And I can't see what y'all can see. Okay. So I'm just going to work it down. And fill it up. Fill each egg half up. And then... When I get them all full, come back and top them off. You want to be sure to have enough to go in here. And then I always come back and top it off once I get them all full. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish doing this and fill this back up and do it again. I'll meet you back when we do the taste test. Okay, guys, a true deviled egg is sprinkled on top with paprika. And I didn't think I had any, but he found some smoked paprika, so I told him to go lightly on it. <clears throat> Just gives it a pretty little dusting. It's not really for flavor. It's mainly for looks. For looks. Look at there. How's that there look? you go. Aren't they pretty? All right. I'm going to set these aside. We've got three over here. I want this one. Right, here we go. The moment of truth. Hang on. Can we cheers our eggs? No, we don't cheer eggs. Oh, look. I got some on my nose. Look. look. <laughs> been eating a deviled egg, got it up his nose. Shh, don't tell nobody. Right, here right. we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. mm. Really, really tasty. It's so good. A little sweet relish in there? No? Yeah. Yeah? Let me tell you. Brunette's family. I'm going to tell you the differences on the deviled eggs and the cucumber salad. Here we go. Go throw my family under the bus. No, it's just not what I was raised with. Get a fork and we'll try the cucumbers. They hadn't really sat long enough, but we'll give them a taste. Um, on the deviled eggs, they did not put um, sweet pickles in their eggs. Mm -mm. And I miss that. That's something I want in my eggs. Mayonnaise, mustard, vinegar, salt, pepper. So I didn't put any vinegar in mine. Um, but. Is it that twang? His brother dated a girl oh, one time. And mustard. Yeah, I put mustard. Mm -hmm. One of his, his brother dated a girl one time and she fixed them the way I liked them. And I was like, I like her. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to try the. 
But I like who he's dating now, too. My brother, that is. Her, yeah. Not me. <laughs> His brother. Have they absorbed the vinegar yet? Mm -hmm, a little bit. Not, not like they will tomorrow. Yeah, they got to sit overnight. I miss the way cucumbers tasted. Yep. They got a little twang to them. Now, on the cucumber salad, his family. <laughs> Do you remember how they did it? No sugar. No water, no nothing. Straight vinegar. Straight vinegar. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. A little tart. Let's start. This is not, good. Not this, but my mama's yeah. is tart. This is good. I mean, theirs was good too. I mean, it was it was what they were raised with. Everybody likes what you were raised with. Um, but this is uh, the way I was raised with a little bit of sugar, some diluted a little bit with water, with purple onions. So, all right. This is going in the refrigerator. So I hope you've enjoyed your first addition to some, let's see, summertime Sunday sides. So if there's anything you guys would like to do, let me tell you what I've got planned coming up. He's in the strawberry cake. Oh my goodness. That is have, not fair. If y'all haven't watched that video, go watch that video. Well, that's not fair. Anyway, um, did you see that icing? Okay. Anyway, um, I'm, I've got a squash casserole coming up. I'm going to do green beans, mashed potatoes one day, um, fried okra one day. Cream potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to do a potato salad. That is something my family does not get from me. I don't know that they've ever gotten a potato salad from me. But I'm going <laughs> to... A, there's a story, a family story between potato salad too. But I'll tell you that on the potato salad video. So, anyway. So, just tell me some sides you would like to see me make that would be a Sunday supper side. You know, a little bit more than opening a can and heating it up in the microwave. A nor something a little bit nicer. One of my, some of my favorite memories as a little girl and as a young married woman was when I would come home from church and my mama and my daddy would get in the kitchen and they would fix supper, I mean a lunch. And it was, I was the baby. My brother and sister were married, had children of their own. They would come over, I would, and it was just such a fun thing. Well, then when I was newly married, my husband and I would drive to his hometown to go to church, and his mama fixed a spread for a huge amount of people, and it was just fun. It was wonderful. So, I'm calling it Sunday uh, Sides for your Sunday lunch. I think I've said supper mistakenly a few times, but I'm talking about a Sunday lunch when you've invited people over to the house, when the kids are coming over, the grandkids are coming over, when you invite the preacher over, whatever. These are some great sides for you to have on your table on a Sunday lunch. So, thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I hope you've enjoyed this. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.